Okay, Shonak, so this is this is our CM7S Elmi. We're set on a RCF of 2170, which corresponds to the RPMs on this machine of 3430. Of course, if you have a different centrifuge, you want to match the 2170. Two and a half minutes is our first spin. Pause. Okay, I forgot to mention the brake is set on four. Okay, so set the brake on four. Since we've got two machines in this cabinet, one, two, so we just, unless we're really busy, we just set the second machine up for the second spin. And so on this one, it's the exact same RPMs in RCF, but notice the break is six, and this time is five minutes. And now these are sterile test tubes. These are 50 milliliter test tubes. For this patient, we drew 120 cc's of blood. So I'm gonna put, we never put more than 30 cc's in. We've done the test where we tried to put in 45 or even 60, and the results come out different. So that may be part of what's going on. So that's 30 cc's right there. There's nothing added to this other than the uh, ACDA that was already in the syringe for the blood draw. So that's um, 30 cc's twice. Yep, so they match. So that's how we do it. So a typical 60 cc blood draw gets split all the time into two 30 cc's like that. Now, because we drew 120, we're going to do the same thing on the next one. Pause. Okay, so this is our setup. When we do 120 cc draw, we've got 30, 30, 30, 30. And then we'll close this. And this first spin is two and a half minutes. Okay, so these are empty sterile test tubes. Normally, when we're drawing 60 cc's, we only need one of these. But because we did 120, we need two. Here, we're going to add one. This is ACDA. So we're going to add one and a half cc's. There's one and a half cc's of ACDA. Here's another uh, eight and a half, so we're going to seven. So there's another one and a half cc's. So each one of those has one and a half cc's of ACDA. Now, this is our spin. That's what it looks like after two and a half minutes. Obviously, we're very careful not to shake it up. You getting that okay? Mm -hmm. So we're using blunt needles. I didn't mention that, but I'm assuming you're using these same blunt needles. That's really important because the bevel will mess up your interface. And so with a blunt needle, we can do this. You good? So I'm going to put that in here. It's beveled. <laughs> Done. So, can you see the interface? It's running a bit poplar. So we just get down to about. You have to back up a little bit. So that's what we're going to leave. And again, if this was just a 60 cc draw, we would save this and use it to counterbalance along with the other one. I'm going to put it right there for now. Pause. We were just doing 60 cc's we would end up with about 30 cc's of plasma and for the counterbalance i would actually do this shonak i would i would take this and pour it in until we get to about 30. right about there and that would be my counterbalance and we would just spin that for the five minutes because we're doing 60 we are going to um trash this because we're going to be able to use the other 30 cc's of plasma as a counterbalance. Pause. Okay, so these are our two plasmas. They're pretty well matched. I think that's close enough, just under 30. We had to balance them out. And we're going to place them on opposite sides here. Five minute spin, same RCF at 2170. The brake has been increased to six, and we're going to hit start. Okay. okay, so this is after the five minute spin. You can see all the platelets are at the bottom. And now we just have to decide how much plasma we want. Okay, so because of the locations that we're doing, which are um, gluteal tendons and tennis elbow, we're going to make a total of seven cc's of PRP. You probably put four at the gluteus and three at the elbow. And so we use this cup. This is not a sterile cup. But we're going to now take out all the plasma. We're not filtering today because I don't have a filter.
everything that you see here is clean. I just opened up the new syringe and a new blunt tip needle. We go through, if I even think about it, I open up a new needle a lot. So that's five, that's about four. So that's four cc's there. We'll go to about three on this one. Save enough for a sample. Yeah, I'm gonna mix them all together and then we'll sample it. So that should be three right there. And so now we'll resuspend on this one. Can you see that, Heather? Mm -hmm. So you can see we're resuspending platelets here, making sure they're not stuck to the wall. And then because we're gonna do this again in a minute, we're gonna stop that. We'll put this all, we're mixing up all the PRP now. So that way when we get a sample of the PRP, it'll be the same numbers for both the hip and the elbow injection. That should be pretty good. So let's see how much we have. Yeah, so we got right to, you can see there, we got right to six. So we have six cc's, so that's perfect. We'll divide it up three cc's um, times two. Pause for a second. This is a micro tainer for our Hariba, and we just have to put in like five drops. And that gets us, I'm just going a little bit more than 250, okay? Hopefully a little bit less. I'm gonna go a little bit less. Yeah, so now we're right at 250, okay? And that still leaves me about five and a half cc's. Pause. 